Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing uh, a Left 4 Dead 2 performance comparison between running it on Ubuntu 13.04 and Windows 8. So on the left we have Ubuntu, and on the right we have Windows 8, both running natively. Alright, the Linux version is on the left, the Windows version is on the right. Now the screen recorder for Windows is Fraps, while the screen recorder for Left 4 Dead 2 in Ubuntu is Simple Screen Recorder. The Windows side of things, we are running the latest NVIDIA driver, 327 I believe, and in Ubuntu we are still running the 313 drivers. Now initially when I first started it up uh, on Ubuntu, the loading times are definitely longer by a couple of seconds. As we get into the game, you should hopefully see what I saw in terms of frames per second and the actual performance. Alright, so we started off with a pretty low, less than 60 frames per second in Windows. Went down to 20, then went up. And in Ubuntu, we started out, to be fair, oh, 100, about 100. 100, yep, still staying at 100, while Windows is still at 40. And as we start moving around, it still stays at 100, to my surprise, while Windows is staying at a solid. 49, 50. It's almost less than half. It actually is less than half. But we'll see what happens when we get into the action. Now, I did try to give Windows a fighting chance. I tried multiple uh, screen recorders besides Fraps. People said online that MSI Afterburn is supposed to be better, but the frames per second were worse when I used Afterburner, so I'm instead using Fraps. So here we see the Ubuntu side has gone down by quite a bit from staying at 100 just now. It's now idling around 60, 70, 50, spiking in frames on the Ubuntu side. While on Windows, the spiking is only between a 10 frames difference. On Ubuntu, it seems to be very large spiking. We're seeing drops down to 50, then right back up to 100 again. Alright, in the moment it's about to get a whole lot of action. Alright, on the right. And action. Still about 40 frames. 45. Ubuntu is still higher in terms of the action scene. Above 50 just now. Now both games, when outside of the screen recorder, they will be idling between 200 to 300 frames per second. So the screen recorder does take up quite a lot. You might say, oh, if they both idle between two to 300 frames per second, there's no difference in performance. There is, we're seeing it right now. Both operating systems are being stressed to run the game at the same settings, which is maximum, and screen recorded at the same time. Yet Ubuntu is handling the load better. The spiking certainly is not nice. If it was averaging at a higher frames per second without spiking down, that would be great, but it is offering higher frames per second than Windows. I can tell you the difference I felt when playing it was that it was smoother on Ubuntu than it was in Windows. Both of them running at 1920 by 1080p. If you wanted to see the settings I put Left 4 Dead 2 at, just uh, go back to the beginning of the video and pause right after the intro. I tried to do as much of the same things as possible going to the same sections of this level on both sides but uh, my timing wasn't too well. I did do this a couple of times and my timing was always off. So this is the closest I could get it done. This is real time, real world stats, not some some sort of uh, automated benchmark. So hopefully we're getting a good idea here of what the actual frames per second are when you're actually playing the game. So for sure here we're seeing Ubuntu having a higher frame per second than Windows 8. Windows 8 is idling anywhere from 45 to 50, while Ubuntu was handling 60 to over 100. Yep, a good 50 frames per second difference most of the time. Except for when action comes in, then we're seeing about 30 frames per second difference. So the clear winner here for me is the most definitely Ubuntu. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And as always, do help out if you play on Linux, buy Linux games. Buy them through Steam, buy them through Humble Bundle, buy them wherever, but let developers know that you want Linux versions of the game. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I, pol I apologize if I made any mistakes. And yeah, thanks for watching.